loves, it's Sam. So today I'm going to do my weekly faves and fails, but I also have a really exciting giveaway for you guys as well. So I'm just going to talk about the giveaway first because it's super simple, there's a super easy way to enter, and what you'll be winning is really exciting. So one winner will be winning a $50 gift card to MAC Cosmetics. If you're not familiar with MAC Cosmetics, it's a really awesome professional quality makeup brand that has tons of amazing products from face to eyes to lips to tools so even if you've never used MAC before you will be able to find something that you like so you'll be winning a $50 gift card it'll be shipped directly to you from MAC Cosmetics and all you have to do is click the link down below which will it'll be right here at the bottom of my video in the description box and you'll just enter that way super duper easy and then the winner will be notified I will put all the details as far as how long the giveaway will run for how the winner will be notified etc let's get on to my favorites and my fails so the very first thing that I want to talk about is my blender cleanser for my beauty blender I really I really really love this um, I've had it now for I don't know a week or two um, and it's been really really awesome it really has been keeping my beauty blender really nice and clean it like lathers nicely but it doesn't like do it where you're forever trying to rinse out the, the the lather or the soap suds. It's like just enough to where it gets it clean, but then it like rinses really, really quickly. Um, and I love the fact that it has like a little pump top like this. It just makes it so convenient. You just pump it, you get perfect amount, and then you just wash it in warm water. I just absolutely love this thing. Um, and I feel like it's going to last a really, really long time. So really, really glad I got that. And I just got that at Sephora. The next thing is the Progranix, or sorry, Proganix Soy Protein and Caffeine Volume Root Boost Finish and Body Builder. Now I'm always weary to try like volumizers because usually they end up making my hair feel really sticky and gunky and like almost like there's hairspray. I just don't normally care for them, but I figured, well, I'll try it anyway. This stuff is so amazing. First of all, it gave me awesome, awesome volume, which is so fabulous because it's really tough for me to get volume like right at the roots but it also made my hair really really shiny it did not leave it sticky or gunky or hairspray feeling when I blow dried it really has a good grip without being too much so like when you're using your round brush you can get like a good amount of grip to where you get volume without your hairbrush getting stuck in your hair and you're like oh my gosh this is awful and it smells really nice so my hair smelled really nice but what I loved the most was that when I used it Normally my hair gets oily, like, you know, you'll, you'll start to be able to see that you really need to wash your hair. But when I use this, I could, I, I think I could have just carried on not washing my hair. Like, I think I actually was able to wait three days before I washed my hair. Normally I have to wash my hair like every other day, but it just didn't get greasy up top. It was like, and it didn't look gunky or dry or gross. It just kept on looking really shiny and clean, which is really amazing. So I highly recommend this, and it's just a really lightweight spray. It's awesome. You just spray it at your roots, kind of massage it in, and then you blow dry, and it's amazing. The next thing is my Becca um, Mineral Bronzing Powder, and this is an awesome bronzer. Well, I actually use it as a contour because it's not got shimmer or anything like that. It's just a straight-up, like, matte contour color. I have it on today. I've been wearing it ever since I got it. I really, really love it. At first I thought it was a little dark, but when you self-tan, it's just an awesome, awesome color. It has not broken me out. It's just a really great contour color. It really gives you a good contour, and I like the packaging. I'm just really, really impressed with this. I highly recommend it. I got mine on Holook for super cheap. Okay, the next thing is something new to me, and it's actually really cool. So this is called Scentbird, and basically what it is is a monthly per monthly perfume subscription where every month you get a new perfume sample to try and it's a 30-day sample and it's $14.95 so it comes like this and it so this is like a little I don't know velvety case and then you get this little kind of like sample size perfume case and you just twist it and then this little thing twists up and then your perfume is inside of here and it, like I said, it's a 30-day sample. Um, but what's really cool is it, it's kind of like um, you take a little quiz and they ask you questions like, I've got it right here, up on here. Where would you rather be? The private library, seashore, flower shop, bakery, orange grove, spice market. So let's just say I pick seashore. 
Then the next question is what do you naturally gravitate to? Wood, leather, oranges, incense, chocolate, spices. So it has all these different things or all these different scents that you can pick. And by asking you these questions in the quiz, it gives you a list of perfumes that it would recommend for you to try based on your answers. So once I was done, I had like a list of all the perfumes and it was actually very accurate because most of the things on my list were perfumes that I've either owned in the past or have right now. So it was really accurate as far as like what perfumes it chose for me. So it comes in just a little package and it has just a little um, card right here that tells you how to um, how to use the little doodad and then how to replace it because every month you get a new scent and you can there's like a like you have like a month list and you can switch around the scent so if you want something a little bit more spicy in the winter you can kind of change the scents on your cue of like what ones you're gonna get for the for the year um, so this is just so it, oh, like it says you can change up your cue by logging into your account before the fifth of the month and then your next one will be sent to you so it's kind of a cool idea and I think it's a decent price 15 bucks you know it's not too much um, and then it comes with like a little paper right here that tells you the scent of what you are what you chose the one that I chose with the, was the Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Lis Solea Oh my gosh, that's a really long word and I probably said it wrong, but that's the one that I chose. And this one smells so much like, oh my gosh, I have to spray it because it's such an interesting scent. It's like super floral. It's almost like gardenia mixed with lily flowers. It's like so many different flower scents all mixed into one and it's actually really, really nice. It's very, very strong. So you don't need very much of it and it's like you barely just waft it by and you're like, woo, that smells nice. But I basically just smell like a Hawaiian flower, I think. I just imagine, imagine Hawaii walking by a huge tree with those flowers on it. That's me right there. It smells so good. This is kind of nice because you get to, it kind of, it recommends the ones that it thinks that you would like and then you can choose from it and then you kind of get a good sample so that you can wear it and see how it really feels like because sometimes like one day you'll like it and then one day you won't you know so I kind of think it's a cute idea I definitely guys I definitely think you guys should check it out if you haven't already at least go and take the quiz and like see if it's accurate because it's kind of fun um, so I really like that and I love that Guerlain perfume it's really it's just really like floral and like oh it smells so good I absolutely love it but it's not like a rose like floral it's more of like a sweet kind of a sweet flower if that makes sense I don't know the next thing I've been loving is the Josie Moran uh, Argon Illuminizing Powder. I love this. I've been wearing it kind of on my upper lip and down my nose. It's just a really, really nice, oh my God, it got all over my pants. It's a really nice highlighter. It's super duper pigmented. It's just a really nice kind of finely milled. It gives you a nice glow without being too much. Um, it's just really, really pretty. It's kind of got a, almost like a rose gold champagne but it's not like that urban decay one where the urban decay is like more pink and more sparkly it's just very very subtle it's like a super natural highlight so i really like that next i have been really loving my ColourPop lippy pencil in skimpy which is a really nice kind of soft nude it's actually very similar to the boldly bear these are really pigmented they're five dollars they stay on really really well they don't dry your lips out they're just so easy to apply and i've been wearing it with the color pop lippy sticks in bff i do have a video on these a complete swatch and review so you guys can check all of the different colors out but this is what the um lippy sticks looks like and the color is more of like a peachy nude it's beautiful but those two together that's what i'm wearing right now i love them like i said they're creamy they're pigmented they're five dollars they last really really well and it's a perfect nude combo so really really love those two products they're absolutely amazing and for five dollars you cannot beat the price okay my last favorite is the glide oral b scope outlast floss picks i love these floss picks they are so amazing and they're really like um, waxy and so they they just they're awesome to use I absolutely love them they're so much better than the last ones I had which I'd mentioned that I didn't like and they're minty so when you floss it also gives you fresh breath and it stays really nice and fresh and delightful in there so and they just they just fit in really nicely they just make it super convenient to floss so love those as far as my fails go I only have one I've actually been really impressed with all my makeup lately so sorry 
but good for me. Um, this is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Fresh Breath Toothpaste. Now, the scent is in Fresh Wave. I was recommended by my orthodontist to use this because um, I normally use a whitening toothpaste, which you guys all know, but now that I have the attachments on my teeth, they said that they don't re really recommend that because they don't want my teeth to be one color and then under where the attachments are be another color. So they said just to use a regular toothpaste, but they also recommended that if I did get something to get the Sensodyne Pro Enamel, just because it hardens your enamel, it kind of makes it a little bit stronger and they said sometimes when you have so much movement going on in your teeth they can become sensitive which i have not found any sensitivity but they just recommended this anyway but i really don't like it because it does not make your breath fresh i had onions the other night and i brushed my teeth and i still had onion breath so it really just doesn't work very well as far as like freshening your breath so i would recommend using a really great um mouthwash that's super fresh but um I mean, I can't see. I've noticed a difference. I don't know. I don't know what enamel is supposed to look like. I'm sure it's great. My orthodontist recommended it, but as far as trying to be fresh, don't bother. Don't think it's going to make you fresh. It's not. Okay, there you go. That's my faves and fails. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you're all having a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, and my blog, samsherman.com, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Thank you. Bye.